First, no matter what you've heard, if you like your doctor or health care plan, you can keep it. If you don't have insurance, you'll finally be able to afford insurance. And everyone will have the security and stability that's missing today. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius did acknowledge some people will see their health care costs go up. I just see a huge train wreck coming down. And you and I have discussed this many times, and I don't see any results yet. I happen to be a proponent of single-payer universal health care plan. I never said that we should try to go ahead and get single-payer. The president has directed us to take action to fight these cartels, and Attorney General Holder and I are taking several new and aggressive steps as part of the administration's comprehensive plan to fortify its Project Gunrunner, which is aimed at disrupting arms trafficking between the United States and Mexico. I'm not sure of the exact date, but I probably heard about Fast and Furious for the first time over the last few weeks. I heard on the news about this story that uh, Fast and Furious. Jake, let's be clear. This, these protests were in reaction to a video that had spread to uh, what happened we, we certainly process? don't know. We don't know otherwise. Uh, you know, we have no uh, information to suggest that it was a pre-planned uh, attack. Uh, the unrest we've seen around the region has been in reaction to uh, a video that Muslims, many Muslims, find offensive. This video is disgusting and reprehensible. It appears to have a deeply cynical purpose to denigrate a great religion and to provoke rage. I don't care how offensive this video was, and it was terribly offensive, uh, and we should shun it. What happened this week in Cairo, uh, in, in Benghazi, and, and many other parts of the region Tunisia, was, a, Khartoum. was a result a direct result of a heinous and offensive video uh, that was widely disseminated, that the U.S. government had nothing to do with, which we have made clear is, is reprehensible and disgusting. Well, it's too early to know exactly how this came about, what group uh, was involved, but obviously uh, it was an attack on Americans. I thought it was a terrorist attack from the get-go. I think everybody in the mission thought it was a terrorist attack from the beginning. I asked her why the ambassador had said there was a demonstration when the embassy had reported only an attack. The fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? But let's be clear, Benghazi happened a long time ago. As I said, I don't know all that went into the formulation of the subpoena. Um, this was a very serious, um, a very serious leak. Well, let me take the IRS uh, situation first. Uh, I first learned about it from the same news reports that I think most people uh, learned about this. Uh, I think it was on Friday. I have not done anything wrong. I have not broken any laws. I have not violated any IRS rules or regulations, and I have not provided false information to this or any other congressional committee. And while I would very much like to answer the committee's questions today, I've been advised by my counsel to assert my constitutional right not to testify or answer questions related to the subject matter of this hearing. After very careful consideration, I've decided to follow my counsel's advice and not testify or answer any of the questions today.